Welcome back, all my fellow warriors. It's a Weetastic Warrior here once again, coming to you with day seven of A Better Way to Live. All right, hopefully day six did you right, or you did day six right. Uh, remember staying humble. All right, remember, uh, and it was crazy that day six was staying humble, and last night in my book uh, that I was reading, Reinvent Yourself, he was talking about humility, talking about how his when his daughter was younger, he would... Uh, play against her uh, like she was equivalent to his age like six years old he was playing against her in tennis like she was equivalent to his age because he knew that was the only way she was going to get better because she was wanting to uh, better her skills and you know what and like he said something to her and I caught from that he says we practice when we're awake and we grow while we're sleeping all right so we practice while we're awake and we grow while we're sleeping and the next day, she came back and she was 60% 60, 60 better than she was the day before. And she got all happy and cheer. And her dad said, don't she, don't, don't be good like that. You need to be the same way you are when you're happy than when you're sad. Because guess what? You know, defeat is going to come. It comes to all of us, right? Ups and downs. That's why triumph and success feels good. Because everybody's been at a point where they haven't succeeded. I, I mean, if you have succeed, succeeded your whole life. I mean, you're one of very few because I feel that everybody has some sort of trial and tribulation that they have to get through in life. And like, that's somewhat of our purpose. All right. So, uh, staying humble, all right. You got to know that, you know what, when you, when you succeed in life, give praise and thanks to whatever higher self or a higher power that you have, and then keep on moving. Make sure you don't boast in front of people because, uh, I'm going to let you all know, and he says it in his uh, a book that I'm reading too, another book, Reinvent Yourself. He said, if I, if you find me walking down, if you walking down the alley and you find me in that alley with a needle in my arm, please help me because I know how serious addiction and depression and suicide and how quick those things can affect us and just put us right back out to where uh, rock bottom. So I'm not uh, naive to the fact that I one day could fall again. So... I stay hungry every single day. All right. On with uh, day six or day seven. Day six was yesterday. Day six was staying humble. Day seven of a better way to live. All right. This one was really good. I really like this one. Stay with me. Each day is a special gift from God of your understanding, of course. All right. And while life may not always be fair, you must never allow the pains, hurdles, and handicaps of the moment to poison your attitude and plans for yourself and your future. You can never win when you wear the ugly cloak of self-pity and the sour sound of whining will certainly frighten away any opportunity for success. Never again. This is a bitter way. But right, once again, I told you I created this channel because I really didn't understand one, how serious suicide and depression was and two, how powerful we truly were. And all these things are truly inside of us. All right. So don't don't hang with the self-pity. Don't hang with it. All right. Remember. You are powerful, powerful beyond, beyond measure, all right? If you think that you can't, if you have a goal, all right, let's look at it this way. If you have a goal and say your goal is to own your own restaurant, all right, but you ain't got the money, but you got everything else, right? You got the ideas, you got the plan, you got this, you got that. Well, find funding, all right? See, it's okay to ask for help. And that's what I think we forget also in this world of ours is that it's okay to ask for help. We look at the weak person as the one that asks for help, but usually that is the strongest person because the weak person, I think, is the one that just sits and lets, tells himself, hey, I got it, while they completely, uh, their lives around us are falling apart because, remember, majority, 99.9% .9 of people in the world got people that love them, that depend on them, that will be affected if you give up. So don't, all right? Here, I want to read a poem in this book, too. Also, I'm bending down, so hopefully I stay in the, the camera and stuff, because I'm in the shop today. It's a little wet outside. I don't want to bring all that stuff out there. But it says, I want you to remember this. And anytime you get, uh, you feel like, you know, the life sucks or poor me. Now, they used to tell me in Alcoholics Anonymous that poor me meant poor me, poor me, poor me another drink. Because that's what we were doing was just working up a depression. So I remember that whenever I say poor me, I'm like, oh, am I working to pour me another drink? Because that ain't, that ain't happening. There ain't no more alcohol in my life, brother. All right, but 
Lord, forgive me when I whine. Today upon a bus, I saw a lovely girl with golden hair. I envied her. She seemed so gay and wished I were as fair. When suddenly she rose to leave, I saw her hobble down the aisle. She had one leg and wore a crutch. But as she passed, a smile. Oh, God, forgive me when I whine. I have two legs. The world is mine. I stopped to buy some candy. They lo the lad who sold it had such charm. I talked with him. He seemed so glad. If I were late to, to do no harm. And as I left, he said to me, I thank you. You have been so kind. It's nice to talk with folks like you. You see, he said, I'm blind. Oh, God, forgive me. When I whine, I had two eyes. The world is mine. Later, while walking down the street, I saw a child with eyes of blue. He stood and watched the others play. He did not know what to do. I stopped a moment, then I said, Why don't you join the others, dear? He looked ahead without a word, and then I knew he could not hear. Oh God, forgive me when I whine. I have two ears. The world is mine. With feet to take me where I go, with eyes to see the sunsets glow, with ears to hear what I know, Oh God, forgive me when I whine. I'm blessed indeed. The world is mine. All right. Remember, everybody, the world is yours. Take day seven with you now. Go forth. If you miss any of these days, I highly suggest that you just go back and start at day one. I mean, what's let's let's do it right, right? If I if you missed any of these days so far, I say go back to day one, start it over. Trust me, I'm gonna keep on putting up the videos. You'll get day. Seven all the way till the rest of them. All right. Love, peace, and hair grease. Do beautiful things today. Uh, if you like my video, please like, subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend about it. Get them on to this uh, better way to live. And love y'all. I'm going to be posting up some more videos soon about uh, other than the better way to live. I just have uh, been a little bit uh, busy with things. And also been trying to read a lot more. You know, because <laughs> my brother-in-law was like, oh, uh, you're a reader now. And uh, I said, I guess. But uh, I didn't. I tried to stay humble because I realized I could also be seven years between my last book. So uh, I'm just trying to get back on it. And uh, I started drinking green tea instead of coffee. <coughs> it is uh, day three of uh, just green tea instead of the coffee. And I don't have it. Before anybody thinks that I'm saying coffee is good or bad, I have no uh, comment on coffee. I don't know if it's good or bad for you. I just know that maybe five cups in the morning isn't good for me. So uh, I switched to green tea. And I got a Christmas mug. So love y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace.